Okay. I know you did what you did when you did when you did it. <laughs> day was a day. What's, do I have my thing? It must be right here. Ah, my pocket, coat pocket I wore today. I right, see if it's all the way down there. Are they there? Yes, they are. There it is. I voted Chesapeake. I did my civic duty. Uh, um, but I'm not one of those guys that said, hey, I voted and then I sit back and don't do nothing no more <laughs> to the next voting cycle. I'm not one of those guys. Because why? Why? Because right now, politically, I have ADOS here. That's right. You know what ADOS is doing. I can see it into the future, right? Okay, let's say for all practical purposes, the election, whatever is happening right now, is over. I don't know if they, it don't matter what they do because, like I said before, here's what was happening. ADOS, that would be ADOS, that would be the uh, North American descendants of chattel slavery, right? They're like little nodes all over the map. <laughs> Each one of these is like a little ADOS node, you know. He said, oh, but you got the American flag, you know, all the nationalists going like, oh, you need to carry another flag, you know, you have their flag, this their standards, right? So why, Ados, why do you use the American flag? Well, it's very simple. We're Americans. <laughs> and plus, it's difficult to flag the fight against itself. You know what I'm saying? Like they think when the Trump people come, or oh, people like that, because Trump will be over again. I, 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 I don't know how it's just, listen to it tonight and have a hoot. You know, a black man told me to, to watch to watch this guy Kamaki, because somebody on MSNBC that does the, the whole, you know, foot, football kind of, you know, sports kind of thing, wipe stuff off the board. So I, I got to watch that tonight. What I do is I listen to Yvette in my ears and I watch, I watch the Kamaki guy like that. That would be a good idea. Anyway, but that's not what you hear. You're here to find out and then take some tea. You're here for the tea hour. In the tea hour, we tell the truth. Some tea representing truth. How did you vote, young man? How did you vote? Oh, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> I'm going to tell you how I vote and why. Okay. I mean, I, I took a... I, I, isn't, isn't the modern days wonderful? I took... Let me tell you, when I first started voting, I don't care, I'm going to tell you anyway, if you don't want to hear. I, I, I couldn't vote until I was 20, right? Because when I was 18, we didn't have to vote because, well, I was, you know, we didn't have to vote because, you know, well, we didn't have to vote. And then somebody figured out because they sent some people to Vietnam, we get to be 18. And they said, hey, maybe we should give these guys the right to vote. You know what I mean? So, but I didn't get it when I was 18. I only exercised when I was 20 because that's when it came out. Don't matter. Anyway, so here's my, uh, uh, my ballot. So I took, I took a picture of my ballot. See, took a picture of my ballot right there. Let me take see, see, see where the dark things are. That's what it is. And you, if you'll notice, like this, the, the, this, this up here is just an example. This is an example right there. Oh, I just moved this. Oh, um, this here is for president. I did president there, right? And this over here, this one set it up top. No, Congress. Who the hell is it? Oh yeah, this is senator up there. And Congress person right there. Okay? So here's how I voted. Let me tell you. Let me look. Let me make it bigger. Oh, my, I love these Marshall Brown devices. Now, let's do the Congress first. I did the Congress because when I think of the Congress, I think when AGS starts, they're going to move on all levels, of course. But we're going to, because we have so many local chapters, each local chapter will, will influence like two to three. Uh, congressional districts in their area for ADOs because you know it's like a, ADOs is like a spider web it's all over the United States you know it's going to be like a spider web you know what I mean everybody has their little nodes and they are responsible for things to do like that you know and then and then we suck other things in like, we, like I know we're supposed to operation take over these places like uh, what's the NAACP whatever we don't have to do that they'll come to us anyway it doesn't matter we have to influence we, we influence all these things like that so little nodes all over influence and stuff so I put so I'm thinking of, of, of ADOS, you know, as so local, on the ground local, good, good ground game, on the ground local, supporting each other. You know, and because of the little nose, you also have an economic interest. We, we start trading with each other with certain, you know, goods and services and stuff like that. All that kind of thing. You start that right now because that's what that's what it's about, right? So bean pies like, a, no, 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 I'm like, I'm like, okay, so, so that's why I think of Congress like that. So that's why I vote, uh, um, 
Hey, come back up there. That's why I wrote uh, www.ados101.com. I got that from so one of the broadcasts uh, that Yvette had. And this is our meeting place for, for, for now. And she's going to do the online thing, you know what I mean? But I sort of like the radio program. I call the radio program, you know, the, uh, the YouTube program, you know? So, so somebody from YouTube brought that up one time. Okay. Now, this whole uh, for Senate, now remember the Senate, those are the ones that approve the the justice word, it's like feeling closer to like justice. Uh, it doesn't mean anything. Don't worry about it. It's only in my brain. It's, it's connected. So, anyway, so I said, now I got to do something with justice. So I put www. So three W's. Producejustice.com. Now, Produce Justice is Mr. Neely Fuller Jr., you know, the uh, compensatory concept. Uh, all right. Uh, get both these things here. That's right. I'm coming back. I'm here. Mr. Neely Fuller Jr., you know, he does. This compensatory concept, the United Independent Compensatory Concept, okay, uh, uh, code system. Sorry, code system concept. I we just call it the code, or I call it the code, right? Uh, this is a textbook, workbook for thought, speech, and or action for victims. You have to be a victim now. This is not for no. No well to do's. It's not for you, like, uh, I don't want to mention their names, but let me just say, it's not for your, your D.O. Hughley's, you know, your apologists, your sheeple people, you know, and your Anna who this, and, or, and uh, whatever do that. It's not for your people like that, like your your, your professors, your academics. Well, I didn't mean to say the, 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 the other thing. Let me say, for your, it's not for your celebrities, you know, who, you know, it's not for your academics, because they might not consider themselves, you know, victims. I'm not a victim, brother. Of what? Racism, which is actually white supremacy, he says here. Oh, no. Well, then uh, nobody's supreme over me. I'm a bad man. Shut your mouth. I'm only talking about me. Okay. And so that book, oh, um, let me just, I'll do a little plug. So at, at that site, www.producejustice.com, you can also get this book, The United Compens uh, Independent Compensatory Code System Concept, Compensatory Counter Racist Code. Oh, that's the thing here. Who's this here? Oh, it's the same book. What's my word guide? I think my word guide is. Oh, oh, I know what I did. My word guide. Anyway, this is the this is the newly expanded. One. Oh, I see what this is. This is the newly expanded one. The one that, that they they updated in in uh, 2016. That's what this is. This is the original one. What well, the original one is the original text thing that came out in '84, right? See, I have back in in Africa where I live. You know, in the Eastern Cape. I have the original, original, original. This is a bigger format of this book here. Okay, but it's the same book, and that's what we call the code because everything has to have a code to work. You know, so anyway, so all these little notes have have the, the ADOS code as developed by you know Vic Cornell and and, and uh, Antonio Moore. And then, can I just say something about Vic Antonio? Look, I know. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Uh, I love to have balance and flaws and, and, and like say, oh, and, and ways for people who don't, who can't see past whatever they can't see past to not engage. You know, some people are all miss bad or bad. Come on, you know how you it is. You know how tone, they go hard. Guess what? That's what you want. You want hard, you know? <laughs> you want hard. Oh, yeah, sometimes, okay, I a little disagree a little bit now. Not right now, but things change, right? I say, for instance, vet don't really have to beat up on Tariq no more, right? Because we you know Michi X is in the mess. She does a very good job of beating up on Tariq and, uh, and uh, the other boy, the, 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 the Mr. Economics, Mr. You know Wall Street, whatever. You know. It's T. Can I tell you it's T? You no, know, it's a bunch of like three T's in one. I, I just I like that. Down. Okay. So 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 you there's that right. Uh, Okay, um, where, where am I? Oh, now we got to get to president. Okay, so that's what I like. I, 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 you know, what I was saying about Eventon, I like their stridentness, whatever you want to call it, people don't like. You know, uh, we hear what they're saying, but they can deliver it differently. Nah, we threw it there. We need, we need the harshest. We need, we need that. Talk about we need some. Can I say something here? I made a note on this too. The naysayers for ADOS, right? I have, I have words for all of them. Let me start with the, with, with the easiest one, right? You know who uh, Jamil uh, Al Amin is, right? Do that, you know, well, uh, H. Rap Brown. 
So if I was one of you, you know, you uh, you nationalists, whatever have you, what you should be doing, since Biden is the one that have all these things and made up jails and blah, 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 and set people up, you know, he's in jail. Right now, he's in um, in Phoenix, some some prison in Phoenix, you know what I mean? Off a charge that he was, he was proven innocent of. That's not even the point. The thing is, we need to get all our brothers out of here. All them brothers in the jail from the 60s, because this stuff that they're Biden, they go, go, they go back, generation, they go back into the 60s. Stuff that's put in place that, that this is part of our reparation, but we have to have immediate relief. One immediate relief, the brothers like that, out of jail, out of prison, out <laughs> compensation right away. You know, you know, that's what you get from the, you know, all you people will do this, you know, looking for your men. Well, get them out of jail. Now you got your boy Biden. I, I don't know if he wanted. I, I just, well, anyway, my point is. The stuff to do, you nationalists. <laughs> so you get them brothers out of jail. I don't want to hear nothing from you. Don't be jumping in front of no reparation movement. Don't be talking bad about event and, and tone or nobody else. Unless you do what you supposed you do what you supposed to do. You're supposed to get them brothers out of jail. How could you say you were affiliated? How could you say that as a snick person, this was once one one of your leaders? Your, your this was your leader. And he's sitting in jail someplace? What happened to no civil rights person, no radical, whoever, no black militant left behind? What happened to that? A black man invented that whole thing. He had a black man from the South Bronx, you know, Colin Powell. He's from the South Bronx. City College, Persian Rifles, you know. My point is, we all black. If some person, if some black person said something, someplace, someplace, no matter what stripe they are, then you as a black, that's our connection. Then you can, you, you, you know? And let, can I say something? Okay. No, I'm going to say that now. That's a joke. Okay, I won't do the joke in here because I was all serious. Okay, finally. So, so that, that's one thing for them. But let me say something. And, and, and a pan, let me get the pan out at the same time. The pan out for the same thing. What's the matter with you folks? I can't believe you. You thought you got enough to do? Then we talk about, oh, they don't know. They're not doing it right. They, they don't know the history. What are you just talking about? Don't you got enough to do? What's NATO? What is NATO doing on the continent of Africa? Do that. Get them off. Okay. Spend your energy. Okay, you can't go that far. Okay, you want to you want to check somebody since you, since you you're mostly the ones that put uh, Obama thing. You know what he's doing? And you could somebody tell somebody send a message to LeBron for me. Tell tell somebody said, you know, Obama played you, man. I don't know. I know you're a big man. I know you don't want to be played, but you know, black people don't want to be wrong or wronged. You know what I mean? I think he was, I think he was wronged. He wasn't necessarily wrong, but you was wrong. Because you went to advice from somebody you thought that would give you some some sound advice, or whatever have you. Yeah, he gave you advice, but he didn't tell you that unlike like all them people like that. All when I said I said all the people, they got some stuff hidden in that advice. But you didn't know what he didn't tell you that 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 best person you didn't go there and LeBron's is, you know, all over the world, you can face. That's great. That's great. No worries, no worries, no worries. But that, that has what we call cachet in Africa. And you know what the NBA wants to do? They, they're starting a league in Africa. So they can pick best players there and compete against all guys. So I guess best, uh, basketball would be really good, you know, in a few years, you know, when they get all the African talent, you know, and then they do, you know, all, all of it like that. But you know the face of that league in Africa? Barack Obama. So he wanted you to play for his own nefarious reason. He wanted, he didn't have to get paid. <laughs> okay. Uh, sounds like a conspiracy theory. Okay, here's another conspiracy theory. Let me tell you how I voted. Where's my thing at? Finally, I'll reveal. I kept my glasses on because I, because you know, I don't want you know, never, never, but I don't want. So under president and vice president, you have the Democrat Party, Joseph R. Biden, President Kamala D. Harris, Vice President. I call her KD. Uh, Republican Party, you have uh, elect electors for. Donald J. Trump, President, Michael R. Pence, Vice President. Oh, I thought he called himself Mike. Okay, well, what the heck? Libertarian Party, electors for Joe Jorgensen, President, Jeremy F. Spike Cohen, Vice President. Oh, Spike. Yo, Spike, Spike, Spike Cohen, Vice President, right? That's the Libertarian Party. See, now here's the thing, man. I was gonna vote for the Green Party because it's just that calling them again on events, you know, break it down on, you know, you know, our regular, you know, t uh, twice a week, you know, broadcasting. And she said she was a part of the Green Party someplace, Michigan, or someplace, some I don't know, someplace up north, right? And uh, and and so 
And so she said, we should now should be taking over the NWCP. We can take over like Green Party too. So I was going to vote Green Party. I had it all in my brain. You know, and I looked at the battle online, whatever the heck, I went to a whole of that. I had seen Green Party, so my, my host would dash, and of course, right in, right? So you think the sensible thing for me to do would be right in. But I said, no, you know what I'm going to do. You know, there's all kinds of ramifications, all kinds of reasons, right? Now I happen to Virginia, it's pretty well, it's probably be going for, um, what's the guy, Biden, blue. It's probably blue, probably, you know what I mean? It used to be, you know, you know, wavering like that, but it'll probably go blue, probably, right? But that's regardless. I'm not voting for like that. I have to vote for a reason. First of all, I want revenge. Democrat Party, when they, you know, you know who messed up New York City? Abe Beam. Abe Beam. He's the one that got all the people out the middle institutions all the time and got and started that that whole homeless thing. That was Abe Beam. Koch didn't help. <laughs> Edward I Koch. You know, I gosh, he didn't help either. You know, he went on and that's when they all the schools, all the stuff that they're bad for New York. Those people, those are Democrats that did that. You know, so I have no love for the Democrat Party. The reason why I mentioned the homeless stuff is because my brother just this, this, this year, you know, in, in May, he passed away basically for being homeless. This is because of the conditions in New York that these folks are, that, that Democrats started. And Democrats are no good for any of these cities. Especially in these cities where all our, our where our peoples are getting killed like that. Oh no, no, no! The Democrats, they got to be punished. They got to send a message, as we say, you know. So there's no way I'm gonna vote for the Democrat Party. Now, if you want to get specific, <laughs> Joe Biden, the what I call a bitterman. You know, he, back in the day, he probably he probably comes from what we call you know how be, uh, Ados believes in lineage. He probably comes from what we call auction block, you know, lineage, auctioneer lineage. That's Joe Biden. Sell you in a second. Sweet tongue you in a second. So you did what you, so you said, but you did this now. You, this is, he, that, that says, because I said so, think that, that, that you know, Tariq and be saying all the time. Nah, yeah, because I said so, it would be like that. I said I would, I didn't put, I, I said it wasn't my fault these people got locked up. I, yeah, I said it. <laughs> that kind of thing. Anyway, so, but he, he, as far as I'm concerned, again, personal thing, you know what I mean? My younger brother died in, died in prison in, in, in 1996. That's because of Joe Biden stuff. So I can't vote. My lineage, me and my immediate family, I can't be voting for no Joe Biden. That's out of it. Now, K.D. Harris. Now, I ain't got no bones to pick with her, you know, K.D. Harris. You know, I, I, you know, I, I just tell you, like, you know, like I told her before, you know, I got these are from Tamil to you know, it's, it's my, my my things. I ain't got, you know, she's in the, in the cup. You know what I mean? I ain't got nothing with her, you know. I mean, it's not, I have no beef. You know, if she, if, however she got to the top, they're telling me she put out a lot to get to the top. Fine with me, you know what I mean? It's, it's however you, it's politics, like everything is a dirty game. That's the way they play it. That's the way they play it. But we ain't got nothing. We don't need those shenanigans. We don't need, don't need to, and they say by do some immoral things too. So we need, we are two immoralists at the time. <laughs> Hey, the, the Trump man may be immoral, but he ain't immoral like that. They're like immoral squared, you know. <laughs> so, in fact, let's let's go to Trump. Let's think about Trump. When they say when they told me for years, they say, "Oh, we keep have to vote for lesser two, left two. When I look at Trump and I look at Biden, for me, you know what I mean. I, I know everybody says all this stuff, COVID, the rest of stuff, but COVID being equal, all things being equal, with COVID. I don't, Put that in there. For me, the lesser of two evils between Biden and Trump, Trump is actually less of two evils. Biden has been at it longer. And can kill my and Lynch, you know, what do you want to say? Selled up, caged up, ammoed up, you know, disrespected, however you want to say it, more black people. Not just black people, just people. <laughs> yeah, just I'm speaking for black people, so I, I like to say black people anyway. <laughs> ADOS. I like to say ADOS, but that's, that's so y'all y'all be have you know you can join in allies. So I mean, when you think about it, you know. So, so I said I want to punch. I want to give. I want to give. You know, I mean, I want to give Democrats such a punch. So I said, well, if I write in, I can. I already use my ADOS, and I always use my pre uh, my uh, produce justice uh, uh, thing. So because I did because this is a poll to me. You know what I mean? When they take this poll, this is a poll, and I want them to, to register in the poll that, you know, ADOS 
as well as produce justice exists. So that's why I put it there. It's not like they, if you take the exit poll, it doesn't go anyplace. But in history, 500 years ago, some, 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 somebody digging through some journalists, they, they're going to see ADOS. They're going to see, oh, they say, this is the election that started at. See? Hey, man, come on. Y'all got to be thinking like in the future, man. You know what I mean? We, we laying the history out here. We, we talk about the, the this is a civil rights movement, the, the, whatever, the 29th civil rights movement, the the 430,000th, you know, uh, uh, rebellion against, you know, uh, uh, against, you know, corporates, which reminds me. And this other thing, both Trump man and the Biden man are corporatists. It's just that here's the difference. Biden's a corporatist that's a total corporatist puppet, uh, puppet. You know what I mean? Whatever corporates want, he just give them. He don't have no input into the game. It was just like Biden. You know, Biden. It's just like his boy, his friend. We call his friend Barry. Um, uh, Obama, right? Just like him, right? He had no expertise. He was totally a corporate's tool. The corporates, the corporates, you know, I call uh, 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 Biden uh, the corporates Pinocchio. You know, but, but Obama was, you know, this, you know, just the slick talking, you know, the funny thing. And it, it worked. It's fine. I ain't mad at him. Well, I am mad at him, but, you know, it worked. It's good. Anyway, Trump, he's of the corporatists. So when they approach him to do something, they say he messes it up. Oh, yeah, right? He messes it up in his favor. Let me repeat that. Everybody thinks that they're open. <laughs> Look, let me tell you something about Trump. He may have been born in Queens, but he was educated in the Bronx. If you go into any Bronx or any kind of institutionalization in the Bronx, you will come out a different person. Cream of dude, you are. You know, Lou Alcinda, you know, he, he practices basketball. And he went to school. It's in the Bronx. Came to the Patterson Projects to play his basketball. We had the baddest dudes on the... What I'm trying to say, that if you were in the presence of anybody in the Bronx, especially the Lord, whatever... So when 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 when, when uh, I found out that Trump went to Fordham, so really, that's the Bronx, okay. So here's the thing: we all know he comes from that. that whether he's a billionaire, millionaire, whatever he was, he he in that in that mix. There's, don't worry about don't worry about what he what he is to make whether he's making money. And believe me, if you really say forget that thing, he only paid whatever taxes. That was the stupidest point. Everybody and their mama, <laughs> they knows if you're a business person, you're not supposed to pay any taxes. <laughs> and so it was amazing if I said, but he didn't pay any taxes. Well, never mind. Let me leave that point alone because it was just too farcical. So here's what I'm saying, right? Donald Trump is so smart that he makes you think he's dumb. He went one better than 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 W. Bush. W. Bush, everybody says, "Oh, that's uh, oh shucks, oh folksy, blah, 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 like that." But Donald Donald Trump make you think that he's a clown. Meanwhile, he makes you think you say he's a clown. He don't say nothing about himself. You know what he does? He clowns you. Tell me who ain't been clowned by what what year since since he came on since he announced for president has he not clowned the press and the politicians? Clown them all. And now he's up to corporations. He's always been in the corporations. So the corporations, he's clowned the corporations. Don't you don't you kind of weirdly see that? You 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 don't see how he's played everybody? Okay, don't don't believe me. Anyway, so I figured, hey, if if he loses, you know what I mean, whatever have you, don't matter to me. I want to make sure that Biden doesn't get some sort of weird mandate. I don't want him to lose by that much. I don't want him to have a landslide. So there's another reason for me voting for. That's right. I voted for Donald Trump and Michael Pence. Donald J. J stands for John Trump and Michael, Michael, Michael R. Pence. I don't know what the R stands for. Probably retard. No, not retard. I would say retard. That's a small, that's what I say, smart guy. You know, he done played, he done played his role. You know, do that. He brought the Christians in. So, you know, that's something. Um, Hey, maybe we'll maybe it's like maybe we have America will have some sort of you know uh, what's that idol idol idolize idol, when you have idols and we worship idols idolize uh, morality back because <laughs> take away the money that ain't never gonna stop um, I said idolizing money. Okay, so that's the so that's how I voted um, and that's why I voted for Trump. There's other reasons I voted for Trump too, but but uh, that's the whole scheme. I had a great time. It was really wonderful. I went early. 
but there was really nobody there. So I don't know if that's good. Other place I heard it was crowded. So when it's generally a lot of crowd, it's going to be go Democrat, they say. But who knows, man? You know, because like I said, this is a real poll. You don't have, you can lie to all those other polls, but this is what you really did. And it was a weird thing because I really agonized over whether I should do this. But then I said, nah, man, stand up, stay, you know, they did you wrong, man. Hit the system. That's what I say. Hit the system. Y'all take care. See you again. Just a little, you know, fun and games with this election day for me, T, from the Pattersons taking the trains to bed, letting you know what I done did, <laughs> I suspect. <laughs>